Okay, so this should be our last part, part three of our living hinge box or for laser cutting. And let's draw the living hinge. So moving right along here, we do have uh, some poorly worded array information here. I'll explain it all in a second, uh, but we'll see we're two and a half over and then we can start our array. And what the first thing is, is 0.166 gap. These are the gaps. Like, so where there's no line is what I mean by gap. Well, cut is the actual length of line. 1.25 so you'll see here right three gaps that's like a half an inch and then that yeah so math so if i go to my drawing i can offset uh, my first line 0.25 2.5 this guy over so this is where i can start my array and i'm going to start my array though by actually just straight up drawing the lines so that i have something to array so i'm just going to move my mouse like this all the way up it says it's says three i have my perpendicular sign i'm actually going to draw my gaps and then I'll just delete them afterwards, right? So my first one is 0.166. It's technically 0.166, like repeated a bunch of times. So I just put a bunch in, uh, 1.25, enter, uh, 0.16, enter, 1.25, enter. And you'll notice, look at that last one. It's already there at 0.1667, perfect. So I'm clicking. Uh, clicked and escape and now if you look I can just delete these guys the one that's in the midpoint and Then two down here because that first line I offset and there we go We have our first two lines here of our array. How do I know that's correct looking if you look real close our first two lines are there So what's our next bit of information our next bit of information here? I did our first cut is this 0.05 between that's between our lines here so our next uh, cuts here, which are staggered from our previous one is right here. And this one I'm gonna do a little differently than the one I just did. I'm going to move it over and then draw a line that's 0.125. So this is how I'm gonna do this one. I'm going to draw a line just over here in the distance. Oh, 1.25, enter, right? And I'm gonna move it over. So if I zoom in here, my distance over is I'm going to connect these real quick. I'll delete it again in a second. This one here from that intersection point over, I'm going to move my mouse so I stay locked perpendicular, is 0.05, enter. So that point, that little end point right there is where I'm going to move this guy to. So I'm going to highlight, move base point, my midpoint of this, zoom in a bunch, I'm going to snap. I should get a square, All right? So now I can delete these guys, delete, delete i have my center point of that perfect 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 i'm going to do a line from this guy up i'm going to keep it perpendicular i'm going to this one's going to be 0 0.166 666 right because this is our, our gap i'm going to hit enter and then just connect to the end the length of that doesn't matter delete that guy in the middle and there's our gap beautiful beautiful um so we don't have to mess with that again i'm just going to mirror it about our center line Array source, no. All right, so we have our two lines. That's the part that we're going to array for our living hinge. Clear, hopefully, maybe. Pause the video, watch it again. So I'm going to highlight all those guys. I'm going to go to array. And look at that. It's starting to do my array. So what else is on our information on the sheet? It says 0.1 times 11. So the 0.1 is our distance. Since we have two of them, that's that 0.05 plus 0.05 gives us a 0.1. I'm saying 11 because we technically need the last one, which is why we got to remove it. Again, poorly worded. My apologies, but it works. So uh, how many columns and how many rows? So if you zoom out, it's up here. So it made three rows. So let's change this to just uh, one. Now that's fine. And now how many columns is, this is the 11 part. And then the between part is 0.1. Enter. There you go. Click away. Look at that. Look at that. Close the right check mark. Now you'll notice in the last part of this information here, it says remove the last. We'll have to remove last line. Right? If you'll notice, this one is a gap last. So, right? Gap and gap. And go over here. The last line is not a gap. So remember when you have an array, you have to explode it. So X to explode. And now I'm going to delete, delete, delete. Good work team. That's our array for our living hinge. And let's just do a little double check in here. So if I go from that point, 
down to that point, we have our two and a half. If I go from here to here, we have our 1.25. If I check my gap, 3 16 is rounded to our decimal point. And then between, so if I click like that to that, 1 16, yep, yep, yep. All right. Uh, last thing is our side. So let's just minimize it. Here, turn the layer off. I got it. Calm down. You can't turn off the layer that you're on. There you go. I changed it. What? What? Oh, because I was highlighted. Sure. Whatever. All right. That is our box. We can cut. We can engrave. You can put anything you want on these things. Last thing we need to do, though, is our side uh, sides. I left that lovely radius for you to solve. We'll get that to that last, let's do, we're just a box with tabs, right? Two and three fourths by two and a half. So, rectangle, gotta click on the button, over, uh, already forgot the numbers, 2.75, tab, 2.5, enter. There's our box, we can move this wherever we want, mover is not a word, but it's fine right there. I'm gonna zoom in. Uh, tabs, tabs, tabs. Trying to move a little quickly because we already have three parts of this. Jeez. So uh, the first one over here, it's saying uh, we have five eighths spacing before we get our little uh, rectangle tabs. So if I do an offset, offset five eighths, five divided by eight, I can offset this guy. Explode it first. Offset. So offset, distance is still five eighths from before. This one in, this one up. So these are actually the points where our tabs will actually go. And these are the same exact things as up here. So let's, oh, but they're mirrored. It's fine, it's fine. Highlight, copy, enter, base point. This first one from that corner. If I go like that, look at that, look at that. And it was one inch typical. I should have done these together. Let's delete that. And now look, highlight, highlight, copy, enter, base point is this one. And now I'll do both. Look at that, look at that. Uh, let's show you rotate. Yeah, sure. Copy one more time, base point doesn't matter. I just wanted these out here. And now look, if you look at rotate, so I'm gonna highlight, rotate, Base point, doesn't matter, and then snap it. There you go, 90 degrees. Highlight, uh, move, enter. Base point is gonna be this one to there. Beautiful, beautiful. Highlight, delete, highlight, trim. Get rid of the insides. Get rid of, you have to click twice because we have the rectangle as well. All right, what are we left with? We're left with one more tab out here for the, um, other side, and that one is 13 sixteenths. So if I do a offset, offset distance, 13 divided by 16, enter this line, that line up, that's where our box is gonna go. Uh, let's just, oh, I should've done this before the trim, but we gotta move it over. Sorry for moving so quickly. You could just redraw all these lines. I am trying to do the least amount as possible. Uh, I guess we're moving this one. Uh, from this point over to that point. Delete. Trim. All right, hallelujah. We're already at 10 minutes. Last thing we have to do is this curve. All right, so let's get to it. What I give you over here is c equals 2 pi r c equals 2 pi r well here's c and it says one fourth c so this is one fourth of our value of c for this c down here what is this distance from there to there i'll give you a hint it's right here one inch total right and we can confirm that by if i go over to here turn this back on dimension that guy to that guy one inch total Right, so that's our C value. That should be under dimensions. That's our C value. So one fourth of C is that. 
is 1. So 1 equals 1 fourth C. So C equals 4. Yes. So it might be easiest to put this into a calculator. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Look at that. So if C equals 2 pi R, uh, 4 equals 2 pi R. We're looking for R. So I'm going to do 4 divided by 2 pi. 4 divided by 2 pi. So 4 divided by, do I have parentheses on this thing? Can I just type parentheses? We don't have a pi button. 2 pi is uh, 6, right? 3.1428. 6.28 equals 0.6369. That's R. Our R is 0.6369. C equals 2 pi R. R solve is 0.6369. So I am actually can go over here, go back uh, to bleep, there. I'm going to fill it this. I'm going to choose my radius, and my radius is 0.6369. Enter there, there. That means that this curve is going to fit into there, right? So if I go back to dimension, I change this to radius, five eighths rounds to that, but it is 0.6369, that's rounded. All right, that is our laser cut box. Uh, you're gonna copy that and mirror it and have two of those because those are our size. And you can cut and engrave whatever you want on here. Look at that, I left something over here amateur hour trim that there you go and that is our laser cut box all right do we get it did they get everything in there good luck have fun